Which one of the following is a correct procedure for isolating a sample of hydrated copper 2 sulfate from a mixture of hydrated copper 2 sulfate and barium sulfate? We've not been told anything about the state of these two substances, so we need to assume that they are both solid at the beginning. Then we need to recognise that barium sulfate is insoluble, whereas hydrated copper sulfate is soluble. So we need to add water to this mixture first, and the copper compound will dissolve, and the barium won't. So that means that C and D are our two options now. And then we need to filter out that precipitate of barium sulfate. That doesn't help us, they've both got filter for the next step. And since the copper that we want is currently in solution, we need to get that filtrate that's passed through the funnel, crystallise it and dry those crystals to get our hydrated copper 2 sulphate. And therefore D is the correct answer.